guys, this is Tracy over at Wilton Scrapbook Company and today we are going to make little roses. So we're going to be using the Tim Holtz Tattered Floral Dye and I want to show you how to use that dye to make little tiny roses. There's um, three different types of flowers in that dye and three different sizes of each flower. So this is a class that we're having tomorrow. We also used the um, dye when we did the Queen of Hearts crown for a party costume. And here's a summer tag. This is another class that we're going to have. So the nice thing is you can really change the flowers up depending on the paper that you use. We use gingham paper, strawberry paper, a little polka dot paper, and it looks a lot different than the red and white that we used for the Queen of Hearts. Sizzix also has a larger die if you want to make bigger flowers. So same concept, we're going to be rolling them. So the first thing that we need is the Big Shot machine. So this is what we're going to cut with. I also have the nice new um, mat from Tonic Studio. I'm going to hold my machine down with that so it doesn't slide. It's a non-skid mat. You can also stamp on it, heat on it, use heat. It's a very nice tool that you have to have. Okay, so I am using the magnetic platform here and my two cutting plates. Okay, so I'm just going to put my platform down, one cutting plate, my die up, upright with my paper down. My other cutting plate on top of that. And I just run it through. And I'm just going to pop out my little flower here. Oh, let me go grab my paper piercer real quick. Hold on. Paper piercer. So this helps pop out the design from the back. So once I have my flower, then I'm going to use the Tim Holtz pedal roller here. It's like a quilling tool. It has a little slit in there. Now, the first time I used this, I wanted to go from the inside and curl out, but you don't do that. You can actually go from the outside. So you just put your paper right in. Let's see if I can slide it in there. Make sure you have your glue ready. I usually use the three in one or the fabric tack glue. So we're gonna have to use this at the very end to hold it all together. So I take it and all I do is roll. I'm going to use my thumb to keep it together. Kind of pressing down on it so it doesn't unravel. And then once you get to the end, that's where you're going to put your glue. Pull out your tool. And kind of set it there for just a minute. And kind of take the tops. your little flower. Once all the little glue is off, there it is. Pretty simple. Make lots of these pretty fast. If you have any questions, you can come on in and I can show you in person. We do sell the dye and the mat and the um, Big Shot.
there if that's a little easier for you to see. That was the large rose and you can kind of fluff it out as much as you need to. You can also add a pearl or a rhinestone in the middle. Okay, well thank you very much. Bye.